just landed a fabulous GRE score. And I know it hasn't been easy for you. I think I wanted to sort of bring you in because there are so many students here who haven't written the test. I'm getting all the queries on, oh, I'm from this background. I'm finding this challenging. Can I get a score? Vijay Aksha, why don't you quickly tell us your GRE score? And then how did you sort of tell us a little bit about the preparation and then I'll ask you specifics. Just quick, briefly introduce yourself. Well, you know, actually I completed my graduation from electrical engineering from JN to K University. And uh, after that, uh, like you said in prior in the webinar that people tend to pick the problem aspects of it to a more uh, fascinating while to the career. So what happened is I, I just transitioned into data science and machine learning where I felt it was a very curious thing because I tend to apply these techniques to the different finance and business aspects. And I found it, it was amazing. Later, I thought what MIT is the best place for me. And I, I dreamed of it, you know, that how much I love MIT. And well, uh, but uh, I think the score I scored that 334 out of 340 and with 168 verbal is, it's happened over two to three years or it's not right away for me, but you know that uh, I, I don't know, like, uh, initially, uh, uh, like before the uh, part, uh, the success uh, one, Nainthara Mahata said that she found the top one person right off the graduation, but it was not case for me. Like uh, I, I go on through multiple institutes before coming to the top one person, and they were uh, really had a bad experience. But the top one person is the best institute out there because uh, it gives you structure, uh, order, and planning in the preparation material. Uh, that it was the most important for the GRE exam, and. And also, Sandeep sir tend to give you the exam structure uh, completely before you go into the exam, and it, which was basically key role in writing the exam. And as you know, it was really not easy for me. Even uh, I said you at uh, I think around 2021 January third, I called you and I said that hey, I think I don't I cannot write GRE. It is torturous to me. <laughs> I just gave up on this, and I think uh, I, I said to you that I will devise a plan that I will just only take GRE math and I go to the math department and I will crack computational science in an applied field through that way. And I, you know that I said that really, I can't, but really torturous to me. And, what, and anyway, we'll, that. we'll, we'll keep this short Vijayaksha. I want to ask you a few more specific questions, but guys, if I can just take out one thing Vijayaksha mentioned, imagine the years wasted, you know, going to other institutes, not getting the right advice. It's all about the strategy, guys. If there are two things I will say, stop procrastinating. Stop thinking about which day should I start? What are the problems? I have this problem in my profile. Can I get a score? Start. Because you're not going to conquer Mount Everest if you don't even start climbing a mountain. So start climbing that mountain with the right advice, with the right strategies that we provide. Great things can happen. And I think you have enough, hopefully, testimonials today coming out, which is highlighting it. Vijay, actually, if you can tell us some specifics of the course which particularly helped you uh, with the GRE, that will Definitely to crack the GRE or three, the first thing is like, you have to have a proper technique for it. It's not about the shortcut. The technique is different, different from the shortcut, obviously. Uh, with, with the technique, we have to work on it. Like if we just know the Michael Schumacher techniques doesn't mean we could uh, land ourselves in the F1 circuit. We just have to practice them correctly before giving the exam. But the best thing here in the top one percent is the technique of octave and plus plot. They they are very structured, and these are the exact techniques on which actually and after multiple failures, I do research on these GRE exam maybe ten, and I do found out that octave just really works. And this is this is the exact technique on which the GRE passages are also designed. And the best thing in the material is that the verbal material is so structured that initially you will get. Uh, normal easy basic passages later on they tend to give you critical reasoning passages later on short passages and long passages so there was a structural and order in the preparation material that which helped me a lot and also uh, you got to keep in mind that you have to be uh, which uh, the major mistake i did in all the all these years and i obviously recommend the other students to learn from my mistakes because i used to prepare three days or five days or at least 10 days and then I would take a rest for three, four days. It was like uh, completely disaster to me. Then I have to redo it entire again, entire the preparation which I have done again. So it was really disastrous to me. And I can obviously I can't say that you have to be consistent in thousand times in this video because to time constraint, but I could put it in this way. It's, uh, you, if you have practiced 
verbal section or any other weaker section in the GRE for a long time, and you just keep it two to three days gap. It's nothing short of just doing a crime and ending, ending up in a jail. That's all. Excellent, excellent, Vijay. Shall last question for you. I think uh, you were you were telling me that I think you know the English language skills was a bit of a challenge, right? I want you to address there are a lot of people who come from let's say non English medium backgrounds who are very worried. Can I get a good GRE score? Can I get a good GMAT score? We have always said yes as long as you follow the techniques, you follow the strategies. Obviously, you might have to you know be that much more diligent. You might have to study that much more to overcome those hurdles. But I want to hear from you. Hopefully, validate, inspire these students that anything is possible. How was your journey in regard to that? Well, it's it's nearly and almost about the technique itself. Okay, we got the best technique here, but the thing is, we got to work for it. Uh, Octave doesn't work like you just know the Octave and tomorrow you apply from the RC passages. It, it doesn't give you okay. an accuracy more than six or seven out of ten. Still, six or seven out of ten is good, but it depends. In real exam, it is adaptive and it varies. Excellent. But the point is, irrespective of what your language skills are, as long as you master octave and you learn how to apply it, you will get a score. Definitely, we will definitely get a score. That's it. even even I thought at some point that I think there is some foundation like in my English or something like that. Otherwise, why would I thought why would I take a path to crack GRE subject test to go to the department sure. at least to learn in the college? But sure. it was not really anything in the foundation. It was really um, like. Keeping consistent, focusing on that, have a commitment. If you miss on the commitment, then you end up in like me, wasting two to three years uh, devising other plans. Like you know, I, how the the serious way I end up into the research and the serious way I end up into the working, and the serious way I end up into the other aspects of the application. But really, octave works, and you have to be keep, keep commitment to the exam preparation if you want to land in the. IB schools or the top one schools, it's not going to be easy because these uh, these schools programs usually have a total uh, people, uh, I mean, cohort population about 10 to 12 people, that's all. Correct. And if you have around 196 com competing in each other, then obviously. That's Excellent. Good. Excellent. Thank you, Vijay Aksha. Thank you. I mean, I think this is more than anything the validation. I hope all of you guys get inspired by absolutely to repeat. It doesn't, it, there is nothing called your foundations are weak or it, that all this is immaterial. As long as you learn how to apply the techniques and strategies, and obviously you practice, you follow the advice given to the T, great things also, can happen. There was also a great plan devised by the top one person, and I followed it this time, but with full commitment. I, I don't want to miss it. Also. Excellent. And Excellent. Vijay Aksha, thank you so much. And now let's get you into your dream school. Hopefully, this time next year, you're on a call and telling the students about your dream admit to MIT. Let's get you in.